Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to Farthest Frontier. Now, in the last episode, we did a big overhaul and redesign of the industrial district, streamlining its layout to allow goods to transfer more quickly between relevant buildings and also bring the more valuable industry closer to the town center for better protection. We also started the redevelopment of our farms, which is going to take a couple of years to get fully up and running, but should start to yield much more food very soon. We'd also just left off with the theater being upgraded. It's only 19 gold shy of having that done, and it'll be in its final form. That's going to increase the desirability across our entire city, really, and I'm hoping that we can get a lot more manor houses built as a result, which means we're going to be looking for a lot more bricks and a lot more stone within the trade center or the trading post um, every time a trader comes by, because it's the thing that I'm lacking the most. I was having a look around. I just cannot find much more stone out there. And the bits I can find are almost not worth getting, you know, it's like a patch of 20 or 30. The effort of building a building, sending out wagons, getting people to make it, it seems to kind of outweigh the fact that we could just focus on the things we do have, like iron and gold, and purchase it. But obviously, we are at the behest of traders coming by that are happening to sell it. So, um, in between episodes, I just basically moved some bushes around. Some bushes are going to be just replaced over to this area, if I just turn on the icon. So, all these bushes are going to be moved just to kind of in this area here next to the foraging hut. The farm is basically ready to go. It's just getting its final... Well, sorry, sorry, no, it's not. The next year is going to get its final load of weeds done, and then it should be basically ready. This area is almost ready to be laid out for its next farm. I just want those bushes to move, and then we're good to go. Let's just let time play. We're obviously going to be trying to upgrade and expand the wall and then also expand out this way a little bit. I'm probably not going to go as far as I'd been initially thinking, as I really don't think we need to go above maybe 350, at most 400 population. Um, so we just don't need that much extra space as houses are able to take five, six people now. So even, you know, 10 houses, that's going to be 50 people. So we really only need, I don't know, 12, 14 more houses and we should be good. So one of the first things we'll do is, well, let's get this wagon here. This has no wood in it. This one does have 134. I'm gonna send this out this way. Get ready to start chopping some trees and get the layout going for that. Oh, something that I'd forgotten to do. I'd noticed that milking has actually been halted. So one of the reasons um, food variety is falling is just because we weren't milking and creating cheese. So we have to go, that bug is still there, unfortunately. So now it says milking, yes. I'll just click disable and then enable one more time. Enable here. I'm just going to increase these to three as well. The fertility is gaining nicely in this area also, which is good. All right, let's keep time playing. So I'm pretty certain it's been a while since we've had our last um, raid, so no doubt it's going to be striking again. So I'm hoping that this new layout really pays off, that they have to go further and deeper into the city. Obviously not that far, but, you know, a decent amount further before we actually have to... Um, uh, giving us more opportunity to hit them with tower fire and then the town center itself as well. Yeah, this doesn't need to move. I don't know why it's got its thing there. I'll just move it to there. All right, good. This building is still offline. That was making planks. Still don't really feel like I need it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still don't feel like I need it that much. We still have 367 planks. We're working on them all the time. We have a thousand logs in the bank. Coming up to year 29. Nine months of food. Looking good. Everything's looking good. Almost. Oh, damn, I actually kind of missed it. Our theater has just been improved. There she is. Let's get rid of the icons. Wow, super ornate building. Now it is really the, well, it's borderline the biggest building. It's really on par with the fortress. That really is, that, that one surprised the hell out of me of how big that one looked. That's the first time I've seen this, though. Never seen a fully upgraded theater. It's got this little back street leading behind it. Maybe it's time to stone clad that soon. Uh, let's get the UI back on. Alright, and we can see houses all the time are just going to be getting their upgrades. They all need bricks for that, so bricks are just always going to be constantly in demand. So really going to be keeping an eye out for the traders coming by. Of course, I'm allowing upgrades. I'm happy to have it happen. It's fine. There's nothing that needs bricks more importantly than that. And mostly it's just to do with upgrades and a few little um, patches of desirability and things like that here or there. So the berry bushes have moved. Finally, we can put down our second or fourth farm in total. So we'll start it here, keep it in line with where we've got, and go 12 by 12. If we can, so we can't bring it all the way down there. That's 12 by 12. Boom. All right, great. So with that in mind, now we can start laying out maybe a fence or something to kind of box it in, make it look a little bit more nice. So this is kind of like a main road highway kind of that comes out to the farm area. We don't need the fence to go all the way around, but it might be a nice little addition and a compliment here. It might leave a gap between it. We could put some 
extra trees and things in too. Let's just go like all like that. It's going to require a lot of logs. That's all good though. Could do a fence gate. It's not that necessary, but it might look all right. And uh, yeah, I don't know if we need another one. I think that might be fine. All right, cool. We'll just speed up time just a little bit. We'll keep it on times two speed. I'm worried about that raid coming in, shocking the outskirts of our city. Seems to be always the way it goes. It hits a few people first, and then you can kind of get alerted to it and react. Um, I did notice, I was having a look around at jobs and professions and how we're making things. For the most part, we're making things fairly efficiently, you know, I think it's fine anyway. But I did notice soap wasn't really being worked that much. I can only assume we just don't have that much herbs. It said unable to work, unable to work, unable to work for uh, several people there, and we were low on soap as well. I'm not seeing, I mean, there is 130 herbs here. But I don't know why, for instance, Rolana and a few other people aren't delivering them. Uh, maybe Tallow? Let's have a look at Tallow. Could that be low? Tallow's at 57. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not too sure then. Initially, when I was... I, I thought I was low on herbs. I actually thought we had 30, not 130. So I must have misread that. So... That throws my theory out. I was going to say we could set up another forager hut, but if we have all that, then I'm really stumped as to what's going on there. So do we have maybe too much soap in general? I don't think so, right? It's one of the things that we're actually low on. Cleanliness and soap is just um, at 98% or something, so villager happiness. Luxury, it's at 79%. Clothes at 71 That's obviously because, yeah, we need to make more clothes, but I have to wait for the farms to get a bit better for that. And then health. Your villagers are healthy, 100%. Even though there was little outbreaks of typhoid and things. I can imagine that maybe one or two outbreaks is not a big deal. It's probably the case that if you have like 30 people sick, that's probably where it gets like a real problem. Yeah, so I'm not too sure then. Resources and storage. So obviously we can do the statistics screen, I guess, and see what's going on with it. So it's a usable good, right? Goods and material production, usable good. Soap. So 86 produced, 68 consumed. Well, that's a good sign. I guess we're making enough. Medicine. Herbs are used in medicine as well. We have the apothecary, uh, which is somewhere out here. That's a brewery. There we go. The apothecary shop making medicine, making medicine. They actually are using... Oh, they don't use herbs. They use willow, medicinal roots, and honey. I did notice honey is actually quite low as well, so we might get... Um, improving that. But yeah, that, that leaves me a little bit stumped about the herbs. Like, why aren't you making soap then? If we have tallow, maybe the tallow just hasn't arrived yet. It's like too far away. Because storage says that there's no tallow here. So I guess that's basically it. Um, well, tallow, we can't really do anything to get more tallow other than just butcher or slaughter more animals. Uh, we're doing our best. And now with the milking process, should be all right. So we made 36 tallow last year and 36 here. Well, just because I know that we're, we're still producing enough soap, right? So I guess the problem is fine. But let's just reduce one person. Leave it down to three. See how it goes. All right. Anyway, good to get to the bottom of it, I suppose. Or kind of. Um, 13 months of food again. Looking good. I see little pockets of icons of bricks all across the land, which means houses are upgrading all the time into manors. So we should see monthly gold coming up nicely once that happens. Obviously, it goes negative sometimes. Sometimes we have an off month where gold wasn't produced. We have one foundry dedicated to making gold ingots, one dedicated to making iron, and then another one dedicated to making iron. Because iron's a little bit more in demand than gold for all the tools and items and armor and all that stuff that we want to make. All right, we're at 317 out of 317 now. We fully um, stocked up, I guess, in terms of houses. Might need another rat catcher because I actually have to move this between... This is the stock house here and that's where the granaries need to be covered. But then the market sometimes needs coverage as well. So I guess we'll just get a separate one. Probably the best thing to do rather than having to worry about moving it too often. Amenities and services. Another rat catcher, please. Um, yeah, we could just stick it somewhere out here. And we'll just move its radius a bit further in. They don't have too far to travel. and We'll just keep them mostly focused on the granaries localized out here. That's fine by me. And then this rat catcher, I suppose, can just focus a bit more further in the town on storage buildings and markets and stuff like that. Great. All right, let's just reorientate back around. So the storage cart is out here now. Basically, just want to tell them to harvest basically all this area. You have to just click 
trees. There we go. And then they'll start loading this up with wood once it's basically full. Then we start building our uh, wooden palisade wall. And they should be able to just draw straight from that to get it done fairly quickly, I think. I'm hoping, anyway. Alright, things are looking pretty good. Pretty good in our lovely, quaint little town. Not even 30 years in, and we've got 300 people. I'm just trying to think. I feel like I, I should have written it down, but I had like at least a, a few different things I wanted to get done. But really, I mean, the farm is the focus. This one is undergoing its maintenance. So let's have a look at these two. So what's the problem? Was food eaten here? Eaten by wildlife. Now we do have gates and walls right around it. And that was totally fine before. We didn't have food eaten by wildlife for a very long time when we had that situation before. So I don't imagine it's any different. I just imagine maybe some animals are still in here. We did see a deer creeping around uh, last time. But that's why the hunter should be taking care of that. Let's just keep this in this area for now. <laughs> Almost as control for the farms. But after that, I'm pretty certain we won't see any more, unless it was rats. It's only 13 as well, so it's like literally one patch maybe got eaten. It's not too bad. So what do we do? We planted 1,500 beans, 1,562, and we got 1,796. Again, more than what we planted. Love to see that. Seven farmers in all of these, and if we check our professions, we can see where we're currently at. 69 people working on food. 51 laborers, 8 currently building. And they built that fence, or most of it. So what I'll do as well, this is a broken berry bush, I've noticed. Just get rid of that. Also want to put in some trees and decorations here. Might look kind of nice. Um, yeah, let's just go with some maple trees. Just kind of almost random along there. Just to break it up, make it look kind of interesting. We have a potter building here. We know that we're making too much pottery. We do seem to be churning through clay quite quickly, but we still have loads. Wish it would tell you how many manor houses exactly you have. We've got 33 gold coming from manor houses. And our bakery is doing well that we built in the last episode. 600 bread produced last year, straight up. These guys got 13, 18 beer and 25 gold. So they're starting to rake in the money. It could be a little bit better, I think. We should be getting wheat next year. Carrots and wheat. That should be a big fat yield, I'm hoping. It is slightly out of the range of where it needs to be, but that's okay. I don't really mind. Uh, there's some flour being left on the floor, and then this is obviously still just we're waiting. Alright, we'll just speed up time. Other than that, things seem to be going well. I would like... How, what's the desirability around here? It's just a little low, and these guys are really crammed. These houses have, like, no gaps for ornaments and things apart from here. The well is already upgraded, so let's upgrade this medium garden and upgrade this one too. Maybe that might push us over the edge for what we need. Even after getting that theater now upgraded, still a little bit of a... Not as high as desirability as I would have liked. And obviously then we have places like this, which has 104. Wow, I didn't know it goes over 100. But there you go. The most desirable house in the game. <laughs> in the world. Pretty much. And there's room even for more at the back. In fact, it, seeing as they have so much desirability anyway, let's just give them some trees. Might look kind of nice. Fill some of these areas. And if we always, you know, if we need to, we can always just pave it. <laughs> or give them... Uh, gardens or whatever they might want. I'm noticing um, firewood getting quite low. It's a little concerning. We've got you, you. Oh, we've got three full firewood buildings on the go. Let's just check. Let's, I'm kind of curious. Let's delve into it. So they're working 73% of the time. That's pretty good. Yeah. 70% of the time they're going off and getting their basic needs. So what uh, my other plan was down here was to basically have a temporary shelter so that people working here can just get their food and they don't have to go like further into the town so let's get that going so a temporary shelter tuck it right in on the edge here would it fit there no unfortunately no there we go maybe it's a bit more central here looks a bit better doesn't obs uh, obfuscate the tower and i wouldn't even mind putting another one there i'm that crazy and that way just food is filled up both sides of this place and if they need to go grab their meals they can do so hopefully the cemetery doesn't mind all right we have compost. Let's deliver it up to the far corner one. And then this one has got compost ready to go as well. Let's go that one. Six livestock animals, two villagers, 
Year number 29. These guys are full up right now. We're getting that milk. There we go, 760 milk. Are we making the cheese? Oh yes, cheese is back on the menu. Let's get someone else in there. Holo. Excuse me. Holo, Nelda, and Morona. Two people making cheese right now. And let's upgrade this road. It's time. Cool. Alright, we're going to keep an eye out for those traders. Let's see, do we have anything massively in stock that we could get rid of? We've actually got 100 cheese in there already. Uh, we make a lot of baskets, I guess. Beer, flour. These are good, but I just don't really want to trade any of them away. Lots of beans. We have 17 shields. I noticed something fairly annoying, actually. Which is that... Oh, not in that one. It must be the other one. That there's a bunch of shields stored here. 15. I need to toggle that off. Stop doing that. Oh my god. Yeah, just... I really don't want these doing anything anymore, to be honest. I just want to get rid of them. But you can't even delete them. And you know what? We actually don't make our own barrels. That's another building we need to work on. So barrels, furniture, and candle makers are what we need. But I want to upgrade the full perimeter first and just like get the farms done, get a few things done, get all hands on deck for those, and then once things are a bit more set in stone, then we'll start building, you know, other buildings like that. All right, we have a trader coming in though, which is good. Oh yeah, and just in between, I added this little trail that comes off behind the place. I did say I'd do it. I think it looks good. If we get rid of the icons, yeah, it's just like the foragers. What's going on? Oh, they're d digging. It sounded like attacking. Um, I don't know, I just think it looks really nice. You know, it's like a natural trail that leads around to the back of the bushes. The forager kind of has their building turned sideways so they can hit the bushes either side. There's... What the hell is that? Oh, it's one of the rats! Oh my god, there it is. It's massive. Get it the hell away from my granary. It's gonna be eating all my green. And we've got an apiary there and another one there. We'll probably start dotting one or two out this side as well. And the farmers can go collect those. Because I did notice, yeah, honey was a bit low. So we know that it's in resources... Boom, I've learned. Uh, maybe just toss it down somewhere out here. 70% honey bonus. It'll get better, actually, even when the uh, farms get kind of done. Yeah, sorry. Cancel that one, actually, really quickly. Let's just push it in just a little bit further inside that fence. Could look a bit nicer that way. Cool. Nice. All good. These guys are chopping, no problem. 299 logs out here. All right, so start going with the... You know what? I'm not going to build another wall until the raid comes comes in. I've noticed something as well. We can see everyone behind the buildings. Is that normal? There we go. Yeah, I don't like that. It's better this way. I was like, I could see, like, all these cows just behind the buildings. Anyway, um, we have Scorv the butcher, butcher. Excuse me. There he is. All right, Scorv. Show me what you got. Let's just leave time playing on normal. All right, so we've got herbs. And someone commented. I'm going to call them out. They said it's herbs, not herbs. Herb is someone's name. Herb is how you say, like, the plant. It's actually the American version is herb. The... British version, UK version, Irish version is herb. We pronounce the letter that's in the front of the word. Apology accepted. Um, and obviously the, you know, not to be biased, but the British and the even the Irish are correct because we had it first. So take it. <laughs> Suck it. Um. Yeah, I'd like to sell some tools, but unfortunately, you know, to lowered price. We've got 120 honey in storage. I'm just going to transfer that back out. Don't want to sell the honey if we're low. Because obviously that's how we make beer. We need honey. At least in this game. Shoes. We got some shoes. We got some soaps uh, stacking up now. That's good. So as long as these numbers are piling up, it means that we're obviously overproducing. So we're good. Village are cured. Um, anything else we could be selling? Uh, not really. Okay, so we already looked through that. Anything that he's selling that we could buy? Not really. Alright, we're good. He's not selling any stone. Sorry, Scorv. I listened to a podcast, and um, one of the guys on it is American. I got no problem with Americans. You know, I'm only joking, really, but um, most of the media I consume is from America. Um, 
and uh, actually I've been to it a couple of times and I loved it. Uh, I was in California, if anyone cares. But um, one thing I was going to say is this person was talking about like, they're very pro-American and uh, they were saying like, oh, it's obviously the correct way to do the date is, you know, instead of, obviously everywhere else in the world pretty much does it day, month, year. So it's like the 1st of July, 2022. Right? But in America, it's obviously July 1st, 2022. That's how they write it. Now, this person on the podcast was saying, like, that's how people say it there. And he was saying, like, you know, it's obviously you say, like, July 4th. It's July 4th. And that's what they were saying. But I got to be honest. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say July 4th in America. In America, for the holiday, don't they say it's the 4th of July? I'm pretty sure they do. And there's even a movie called the 4th of July with like Tom Cruise and stuff. <laughs> it's not called July 4th. So I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting, I don't know. I just have that on my mind right now. So that's why I'm bringing that up. Anyway, next trader is on the way. But that, that one was always so peculiar to me and Fahrenheit as well. It's just like one of those ones where it's like nobody uses that. But anyway, a new traveling merchant has arrived. Right, so we've got Scorv and now we have Lethros of Cardell. Tell me more about this place, like about Cardell. So he's only buying candles, beer, and glass. Very high tier stuff. And we can buy barrels. I actually don't know how many barrels we have, but it's a pretty cheap price. So let's just get some. I feel like we, it could be my mind playing tricks on me, but I feel like we bought a bunch just recently. But just take on a bit more anyway. Why not? If it's at a decent price, we'll take it. Uh, yep, don't really need anything else. Still waiting for someone to come by that is just selling stone. It's typically, oh. We just, as soon as it saves, it ain't, it ain't letting me reload this one. Um, we got 19 raiders. Here we go. So where are they coming in from? They're coming from the east. This is out east. So let's just get everyone we can. Just want to make sure that the health bars are on and everything. I don't make any mistakes. All right, let's just pull these guys back that way. Anyone out here? Go that way. Get into the town. Just get, whoops. Just get everyone just to stop running out that way for now. Just get away from the walls. Everyone goes in. Word is spreading throughout the town that raiders have been sighted. Raiders are attacking. Right, we'll get our attack group. Attack group, strike group, alpha, rogue one. Just to head into the town center and we'll leave time play. See what they're doing. Who do we have? Can't quite see. Uh, we've healed the Beautiful Hilda. Run, run. Are they going to attack the smokehouse? That's what they've done the last few times. Just battered it down for like no reason whatsoever. I'm expecting them to come from this direction as well. Yep, there we go. Right on sketch. Meanwhile, the boys are mustering. They're coming down the streets. Just about to see them running that way. Hopefully, there'll be enough to deal with it. We see 19 coming in first. Some are going for the gate. Some are going for the corner wall. The tower, which is here doesn't have that corner in range actually interesting now my health bars don't seem to be on are they yeah they are okay just make sure she gets in Hilda all right good so where's the boys there they are all right we'll deal with this side first then if that's the case they're just getting in the tower now are they slacking off what the hell is going on they're firing on them that's good so we'll get this group to come to... I'll st stop trying to rotate the camera. Sorry, I just can't see beyond the tree. But it looks like they're actually getting passed away already. Got some raiders coming up, hitting the north gate in a second. We'll just we'll deal with the south gate first. Creep around the side and then we'll go back north. I want to keep an eye on as well that there's no one... I don't see any of the attacks or anything. Just go out, keep going, keep going. all gang up on them this one side and then we'll just run north i have no doubt the stone walls will hold for a while oh my god the crossbows oh my god can you imagine those two running away just absolutely murdered there she goes all right easy enough next place just get moving back up here please is that it that can't be it hey they did destroy the thing they always do that yeah this person's running away what 19 raiders that can't be it Okay, <laughs> 38 raiders now. Where are they coming from? This again is super far east. All right, I might just tell these guys to go back to the barracks. They'll get more ammo that way we can run back out. 
Oh no, they're right there now anyway. I guess we'll stay. We'll stay. That's really weird to see the ones in the north running back though. How strange. And then one coming back this way as well. Like this person is just like, I'm out of here. First attack failed. Now, hang on a second. I didn't mean for them to go outside. Let's just run back in. If we can. Yeah, just stay inside, please. Just for a sec. So I can do a little bit of a sit rep to see what's going on there. Some people want to run out and deal with it. Some of them fire, like, over slash through the wall. And they do have some heavy, high-tier guys in there. They're kind of spazzing out trying to get through the gate. But let the towers do their work, you know? The towers are able to shoot the gate, so no problems. Can't quite see. Oh, they're in. Okay, good. Alright, let's go then. Alright, it's a brawl in the street. Some of them are making a dash for the buildings. But remember, they have to get the building down to 75%. Also, hang on a second. I hate to pause it, but... We do have another trader here. Lethra, Sicardel, and... C oh, no, it's the same guys. Okay, sorry. It's just the building was highlighted, so I wasn't sure. All right, let's keep it going. Looking good so far. They're going straight for the gate. Or, sorry, the tower. No problems. Cut down. That's one of the heavies as well. Heavy dealt with. Uh, yeah, let's just tell them to go back here. They can go outside and handle this area too, I think. Let's give them the order to do that. Are we okay everywhere else? Seems okay everywhere else. Any attack on the west side? Nope. I do need to be focusing on what the farms are doing in a minute. But yep. No uh, siege equipment yet. I wonder how long it takes before we start seeing some of that stuff. Careful, we got one man in there on his own. It's Eklund. Man, he's taking no prisoners. Goddamn. Don't let him get away. <laughs> Alright, good man, Eklund. Let him run. Yeah, straightforward. Not bad. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Didn't even ring the bell. Didn't need to. Village is raided. Was it? Because it didn't feel like it. I don't think anyone died, actually. And if that's the case, that's like a first time for a very long time. So one building destroyed. I'm guessing just the gate, right? And the smokehouse. So let's just commission the rebuild of both of those. And we should be good. Any new traders or anything? Still just Lethros or Cardell. And now we have Masuki the Silver Tongue. So do you have bricks? You do. At an increased price, though. Ugh. Terrible. Terrible that you charge that much for a brick. Um, he would buy some glass for us, though, for a good amount, but we're not selling. And he's buying cheese at an increased rate. Okay. Well, we could throw in... I don't know. 400 cheese? What's 400 times 7? Uh, 280 or something? Sorry, 2,800. Obviously not 280. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll sell that cheese. He's here for another 39 days. We'll get all the cheese delivered. All right, let's keep time on normal speed. Let's just catch up with how our farm's looking. We have 2,000 manpower left to go on it. So that's about, you know, I don't know, three or four months hard work. This one's getting its weeds reduced. It's at 63% right now. Food's fine, by the way. 11 months in store. We did have some spoilage from the heat unusually hot I guess early year right it's like March or April right now so some of the carrots were uh, unfortunately lost but um, there was no good news is there was no uh, animals eating them at least so let's just get the rat catcher out here to focus on that so that's eight gold per month this is full we're full up of yeah so well there's a gate that can lead in here and there's a gate that can lead in here so they should be loaded and unloaded relatively quick uh, I said I wanted to wait until the raid before putting down another wall, so we'll just start the wall now. Basically, don't think it needs to come too much further out than that. So maybe it's about here. And we'll just whoops, and then we'll just drag it straight across. Oh, it's like the worst spot to try and do that. Oh, actually, I'm going to be cutting that middle road away anyway, so that's fine. Yeah, so that's what's going to have to be. It's going to look a bit unusual there, but I don't know. Put some trees around it; might look fine. So yeah, so the storage cart has 
370 logs in it, so that should be fine for people to come out straight out here and get building. We've got four people assigned to building. Can we, um, can we get those numbers up, please? <laughs> yeah, and make it a priority, I guess. Okay, cool. What's the problem here? No entertainment. This building is not providing entertainment. The brewery? Is the brewery supposed to provide entertainment? Maybe we're not making enough beer? Put another person in there. We've always been making enough even with one person. The theater is providing entertainment like nobody's business. 86 residences currently in range. And the pub. Where's our pub? Right here. Entertainment's pretty good. Although, yeah, pretty good. There's still a few houses there that aren't captured by it. Oh, two houses don't have entertainment. That's what a shame. <laughs> Sucks to be them. Imagine not being bothered to walk like just over there. <laughs> But at least they have the entertainment of the theater. They've got something. And houses are still upgrading. We can see bricks being delivered here. We've got manor houses now right across from the trader looking really good. I think it might be nice just to really quickly just kind of take a mini walk through the city. So we'll start out by the um, farms, right? So we come in from the barns on your way. Oh, sorry, let's see what that message is. Village was raided, 38. 28 raiders killed. One building destroyed. That was the wall. And the smokehouse was the other one. No one was killed. Oh, sorry, no villagers were killed, obviously, and no items pillaged. Success! Full raid. And before I forget, we should actually just make sure that Matsuki, who's leaving in three days, totally under control. We'll just sell all that cheese. It's more than I thought. It was 2,800, was it? 28,000. Or 2,800. Yeah, sell anyway. Sell all of that. He's rich. Take his money. And then buy bricks, because we need him. Buy them all. I don't know, buy a hundred. Buy and transfer, please. Gives us a little bit of a boost. Pleasure doing business, Masuki. See you later. He's got a nice looking cart as well. All right, let's go for a little mini walk through the settlement. I say mini because we can't quite, it'd be great if they had that Anno 1800 feature where you can actually just like take over a villager and walk in their perspective. Um, that's like one of the best features ever for any, every city builder should have that. Not an easy thing to do though. So let's get rid of the UI. We'll just get rid of the icons. There we go. All right, so this is basically the journey. I'm gonna slow, we'll put it in slow motion, just walk through. So we come in here, we're passing the barns, obviously on our right, and then the big open fields on the left. We have our root cellars and smokehouse, our brickyards to the right. We take this quaint, lovely stone clad road up to our first little patch of industry. The industry then of course is gonna be the weavers, which is offline right now. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. The um, uh, cheese makers, and I'm not even sure exactly what all of these different buildings are. Preservists, I think, cheese makers, those kind of things. We then have the brewery as well, taking in some honey, mixing it in, sweetening up the beer. As we go further, we have pottery. They're making the clay, or they're getting the clay and making pottery, obviously, from down here. So just we'll keep it straight from here on. So as we keep going, we pass the storage area, we hit the fortress and the theater. Big two massive ornate buildings ready for that. Um, hopefully, in the future, the statue that's going to go out in front of them, and then our sort of our plaza. We'll keep going through past all the manor houses, looking so lovely down the Via Flaminia road that we've created, and then in here we can kind of see just like little doorways peeking through where the trees are. Hopefully, none of the trees are blocking the doors. Doesn't look like it. And we have a lovely cut through then that leads to one of the hospitals, another. Um, market, the school, you know, our old town essentially. And then we have the, of course, the pub, the bakers, the school, all of that good stuff. Lots of nice things in between here. Little cut throughs every which way and where. A rogue deer is sighted in the, in the town. Um, we'll keep going. And then of course we turn out this way. We hit the lake and we have our big open plaza. Got to do something with that in the future. Masuki's driving off. See you later. All right, so if we were to keep following that road down the Via Flaminia, we take a left turn and we hit our industry section. Town center and the smokers are just there on our left. The trade post is at the front. We can see a few people out the back, you know. Yep, oh, yep, how's it going? No problem. All good. Making them, making that arbor too, right? Mm-hmm. Banging a few dents out. I don't know what they'd say. I, I have no idea. <laughs> I can't pretend to be, like, working class. Um... But yeah, I don't know what people be talking about. He's, he's, he just ran a, right, right across there. I think he's going to nip a little bit of that uh, smoked meat, it seems like. He's putting the charm on old Betsy over there. She's ripping off a little bit of Ryan, giving it to him, smoking it. She's like, um, but anyway. <laughs> I was 
going to tell an absolutely woeful joke. All right. Anyways, you now we've got our main industry in here, right? We have the foundries, the firewood cutters. She chopping them logs like nobody's business in there. And yeah, the place is looking awesome. I'm loving it. I think it looks really, really quaint and really nice now. It's a great looking game. It really does look quite good. When I first installed it, I had a real blurry problem with the game. I'm not sure what it was, but I've increased the resolution to like 150 percent. I think I'm almost running it at 4K, which is another reason it's obviously framey and hitchy every now and then. But um, it softened all the edges. The anti-aliasing wasn't doing it for me. I don't know why. All right, cool. There we go. Nice little close-up adventure of what was going on. Uh, nice to appreciate all the details and stuff in the game. So how's that wall coming? First little bits are going up, looking good. Let's just speed up time just a little bit. So basically, I don't really have much to do now. Upper Wainwright, Fiora, has died of festering wounds. Oh, she must have gotten stabbed in the raid. Damn it! Almost a flawless raid. But obviously, yeah, the wagons I've noticed. It might not have been the raid. I've noticed that the wolves and bears in particular like to chase down those wagons and they don't get off them they just take the hits you know and then that's it holy crap two shoals of fish right here should we get another fishery why not can never have enough food production fishing shack oh my god there's three actually really yeah all right cool so our temporary shelters have they been built this has been built it's stocked with food hopefully people don't have to go too far Stocked with firewood. This one doesn't have any food yet. Tempting to get another another one of these because they are always driving. So we have that one's driving right now. Driving, driving. And then the one out here. Also driving. So yeah, I think I'll just build another one and let them get cracking on that. I don't know if this is a good spot for it or not, but I mean, they drive all over the city. So I don't really know where the central point for them to be really is. This This being here means they can get most of the goods they need to bring them somewhere else. I would hope. Um, maybe out by the farms? You could have someone that picks up the food, maybe, and drives it out somewhere? That's kind of what this one's for. Yeah, maybe here by this other entrance. That might be a good spot for it. So let's see. Is that in storage? Wagon shop. Yeah, just slam it in there. Good. All right, five stone, 35 planks. Might be time to turn on the other plank maker again. Food is good. I'm glad that we didn't have any issues. You know, I was a little bit worried for a while with the upgrades of the farms, how that was all going to go down. Because I took two of them offline. I think I was only supposed to take... Sorry, I took four offline. I think I was only supposed to take two. We've got some blueberry bushes out here. Just going to move them in. A villager has died of old age. Marland. Okay. GG. <laughs> Um, right, that's the time play. I'm just going to move some of these bushes, just tuck them in on this area here. I think when the icons are turned off especially, the bushes lining the farms look so nice. A lot of back and forth though, having to do it manually. What's the problem here, by the way? Needs to be cleared of obstructions? There's a tiny, like, little bush there, maybe? I don't know. Do I have to do that? Or just can someone else? Trees? Yeah, it's already marked. Okay, good. It's like a sapling. Some milk just being thrown on the ground. 27. I don't know what that means. In Anno, that would mean 27 tons. There's no way that's it. People carry that kind of stuff. So I guess it's just, like, literal buckets. 27 buckets of it. 27 liters? Let's go with liters. Why not? 27 liters of milk dropped in the scorching heat fractured bone okay happiness is really good though clothes are still really bad i'm still waiting on this to be oh it can be assigned did i totally miss that whoops let's just assign those up all good and then yep just this and then this that's always what i start off my fields with yeah so that's so we have wheat for this year wheat for next year not for the year after, though. The year after is going to be beans. Maybe we'll switch this out to be flax. Because we definitely need that. So next year, late next year, we'll finally get some clothes on the go again. All right, let's speed up time. Looks like we're totally good for a while. Really just waiting on upgrades. 
buildings, and the wall. So we've now 25 potential builders, and there's currently 13 people doing it. 41 laborers. Totally fine. We're short a farmer. Let's just get him in there. Anything else that's need doing? I don't think so. Everyone's back in their barracks, are they? Yep. I do remember seeing a little bit of stone out this way. Stone is just so tight right now. There's some stone out here. We have so much wood. There's a work camp here getting logs, but it's actually run out anyway. So we'll just tell them to go a little further for it. Stone only, please. Once that's done, we'll get this other patch out here. And I guess just keep exploring if we could have a look around the edges again. See what's going on. Patches of herbs and things. Herbs. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know why that keeps highlighting for me. We've got a thousand cheese. <laughs> cheese is ridiculous. Alright, 500. Just throw it in there. That's the most we can store. And then we're built, we've already built the other wagons. So let's just get both people making wagons. So they obviously have to build it. Uh, take 40 planks to make them first off. Firewood's still a little bit low. A bit worried about coming into winter with only 70 firewood. Although people have it in their homes, I guess. As long as it's gaining over time, but it seems to be falling. Which means we need another one, which, I don't know, man. Seems kind of crazy to me. What's taking so much? Obviously, these are taking quite a bit. We're making charcoal. How much coal do we have? 12? 4? Probably not enough. I reckon we'll just build another one, then. Another saw uh, firewood splitter. One of the early resource production buildings. Firewood splitter. Problem is, I have them really nicely laid out. I guess we could pop it in next to this area. Makes kind of sense here. Next to the sawmill. Temporary shelter looks cool. It's like just like a big warehouse. Gold just stacked outside. I can't believe they just leave it there like that. Firewood's low, yeah. Yeah. We're working on it. How's desirability? So we need 85 for these houses to upgrade. So some of them have it. They just obviously don't have the food variety. Or maybe they don't have enough glass or whatever. So yeah, our glass makers is here. Stocking, stocking, stocking. They need sand and coal. Alright. Let's get more people in there. So we stock it faster. Let's make more coal. Let's just max out coal. Obviously they need firewood for that. But we're putting down a new firewood thing. So hopefully... That'll be okay. We can make it through this winter, I'm sure, no problem. And we have a thousand wood logs still in storage. Still don't know what's taking so long down here, man. Taking a long ass time <laughs> to get this wall built, and they're building it in chunks. I might say then, forget this part of it. I don't know if I can do that now, retroactively. No, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, sorry, wrong thing. There we go. Cancel that. Can we cancel it? No. Salvage. There we go. So just do that. That hopefully hopefully lets you focus a bit more. I'm just getting this bit done first. I've increased the priority and assigned as many as I can to it. You have to do priority by each single square. I'm not going to do that. Life's too short. I'll just sit back and complain about it instead. Six months of food. Weeds are basically gone. Weeds are done here. So we're down to 16%. So we could always leave them with little bit extra to do and hmm yeah cabbages or something good well the food situation is pretty good milk situation is great cows are doing well 13 in each building bring that up to 14 maybe in one of them see how we handle that the building's on fire no it's not don't be lying to me I see one bucket on the ground. I think it's fine. I think we're overreacting a little bit. Some houses are still getting their materials to upgrade. It's kind of interesting seeing the scaffolding, but also that they got their bricks first, not the planks. We have 200 bricks. Of course, we did just purchase some, so... The house, the, the manor houses go almost... I guess it is snow, but I was going to say they go almost white bricked. And then they turn back to, like, red bricks. You think the brick wouldn't really change color too much. It would have to be so freezing. To have, like, a layer of almost... Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just white bricks. I thought it was, like, red like the tiles. Predator sided. Building attacked. Let's check this out. We have a bear. 
yields one carcass, just one. So this is out by the where the coal and the sand mine, the glass maker used to be. Um, again, I'm not sure what I can do about these bear attacks. Let them just send out the boys and try to deal with them. Yeah, just keep running, man. Irma, Hilda's sister, twin sister, same age as well, basically. I think they're the same age. I think she was 46. Oh no, the flipping wagon driver's gonna die. Let's see. Oh my god. <laughs> run. Just run. Just get inside. Oh my god, he's so nearly dead. Targeted the bear. He's running. Oh my god, it's so intense. Someone else, distract the bear. By Skilla. Oh, what a hero. She's like, stay away from him. Stagrim, what a name. <laughs> Alright, we're firing on the bear. Oh, not everyone can hit him. Oh, there we go. Good. Distracted. Oh, look at the armor on this dude. He's got the hauberks. He has a shield. Jotram, he's got a heavy weapon. It, he doesn't actually carry a, a halberd, I guess. No, no problems. Good job. What's his name? Jotram. A villager died of old age. A forager named Erwalt. Okay. I thought I just saw it. There he is. 76. Wow. Old age. 76. Not bad. In these day and age, live to 76. Hopefully he passed peacefully. What do we have now? 22 in the graveyard. Typhoid. Three people sick, actually. Three sick with typhoid. Okay, teach me about typhoid. On cleanliness and can spread amongst villagers. Cleanliness is down to... Wow, 60%. I think it's to do with the clothes. 65% with the clothes. Because we're making more soap than they need. Um, soap is, I think, fine. But there is only three. Maybe it's just been barely distributed. Health 100%, you know? So I, I don't know who to believe. <laughs> And then if I look at soap, usable goods. Soap, 79. 78 consumed. Okay. So yeah, that's basically like saying you're not making enough. Again, mystery of soap eludes me. Making soap, making soap. Everyone get in there making soap then. Oh, we have traders coming in. If we can buy some, I'll buy some. I don't think that's the root cause of the problem though. I think really we need to be making them close. And we're about to. This year, right? One of these places is doing it. Flax, yes. Heat tolerance. What's the heat tolerance of flax? Pretty good. 10 out of 10. Crop yield, 6 out of 10. Alright. Give that a solid go right in the center then. Once we do that, we can turn on the weavers and then hopefully start distributing clothes to everyone. It's going to take a while to catch up though because when you have a shortfall like that, you have to supply it to the people that don't have it and then other people are losing their clothes all the time as well. It's going to be a bit of an issue. Deceased villagers, just just, just dead right there. <laughs> Alright, traveling merchants have arrived. I'm just waiting for the other one to pull in. Alright, cool. Both of them are here. So, what do you got for me? We have Scorv the Butcher again and Beldar the Peddler. They're looking to buy all of these things. Not really looking to sell anything. I guess maybe baskets. We could go with 60 baskets. Why not? That's fine. He is selling clothes, so we could just buy a big bulk purchase of clothes. Perfect, really. 13. I mean, it's, I don't think it's going to get any cheaper than that, but we'll just have a look just to, just in case. Soap and medicine. We could buy both. Let's do it. Let's treat our people well. They work hard, and they deserve it, I think. I don't know what you think, but I think that. So yeah, let's get 60 clothes at least. Buy and transfer, please. And we'll deliver the baskets. We'll sell some baskets. So what are you buying off me? They're buying... Mm, nothing I'm really willing to sell, to be quite honest. It's interesting how much honey we're losing. We had 120, we're down to 75 now. Yeah, not much I can do. So I'm just going to wait. We'll transfer some gold in here as well. Make some big, thick purchases. We don't really have any more buildings to upgrade that cost a lot. And I still am looking to buy stone, and I'm not seeing anyone with it. 
So Cariolis is stalking the trader. Dala, she's 58. How old's Cariolis? 68. Seeking food and shelter stocking. Man, you picked the worst time ever. <laughs> Don't think there's anything else I need to focus on. I'll just keep staring at this building. So there's the gold delivered. Right. So basically, give me that soap. Just give it a nice big bump of soap. Buy and transfer, please. And then we want to sell the baskets. Increase price. 900 gold. We'll buy even more clothes. Just give these people a nice big head start. All right, there we go. Um, seeing as the baskets are going for such a good price, and if I'm not mistaken, yeah, I am mistaken. I was going to say both of them are buying it. They're not. He's got 2,800 gold. So let's just say, yeah, screw it. Another 50 in here, please. Got more than enough baskets for everyone. We've got two basket makers on the go. We've got Willow out the butt. Villagers are being cured. Look at that. Left, right, and center. They're loving it now. I don't think we need to buy the medicine. I think we're fine. Another trader's pulling in. So, trader three. We have Anders... Ander Plains Rider. Do you have any uh, stone? You do indeed, my good man. Yes, please. Buy and transfer. 90, 85 stone. Take in as much as we can. Uh, we have cheese to sell, but he's not buying. So that's basically it for Ander. And then we can sell the rest of our baskets. There we go. Sell the items, please. So 1,200 gold. With the last of that, I could go medicine again, I guess. We should have enough clothes now for everybody. So let's just get an excess of soap. We've only got 17 left. We'll buy all of that. Buy your medicine. 22. And, yeah, good. Good exchange, I think. Let's just buy some... No, we don't need to do that. Let's not waste money for no reason. Keep it for a rainy day. I guess more clothes, actually, yeah. Because it's a, it's a super cheap price, right? It's, like, quite below average price. So there you go. That is how you do it. All right, problems solved. I want to see all these bars hitting 100% now. Except for, I guess, furniture. So maybe we should start looking into that. I've never actually done it. So resources... Uh, the furniture workshop, I think. There it is. So it requires planks and produces furniture. Desirability isn't hurting anybody. Oh my god, it looks like a lovely building. Yeah, I've never seen that. Sorry, let's get out here. Maybe we can see it a bit better. Oh, we'll put it up here. Why not? This is where our planks are made. So, kind of makes sense to throw it up here. Not the best area for it. I'd rather stick it there or even along here, maybe. Lengthways, I suppose, would be good. Yeah, I'll do that. I hate to be so persnickety, but I'm going to move this, tilt it that way, and that gives us room for it in there. Nice and compact. Oh, I just realized this would fit in here, wouldn't it? Do I need to do that? Is that a bit excessive? No, I think it's fine. Good. Right, and then we'll get our furniture workshop up and running, start distributing furniture, and that makes us more money in the long run as well. Nice, so we're up to 93. That was at 60 something before, so that's going up. I should hopefully tamper off, taper off the sickness as well, I think. If the game has any sort of logic, it'll work. And yeah, cool. She's shelter stocking. You've only got about a month and a half to get all those berries. Love. Lottie. Don't slack off on me now. So with the extra stone, I'd like to start, you know, continuing the stone wall out this way. The upgraded stone wall seems to be done relatively quick. That's only 10 stone for all of that. That can't be right. Oh, no, for the gate. Surely everything else already has its... Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Look at the wheelbarrow guys. And they all have baskets on their back. And they're all full of stuff. What are you carrying? Oh, they're bringing all the stone out. Nice, nice. Good job. Love to see it. I like it when you tell them to do something. There's a big train of them on the way. They're taking that highway down to the wall. It's obviously a priority getting that done. Need to expand the orchards at some point too. We need like a couple more arborists. I was probably going to build them out the other side of the town just to make it look nice. But not necessarily. They could be relatively in the same spot. I haven't decided yet. Someone just went to the park and just threw a fish, a bag of fish on the ground. As you do. 
Maybe something happened to them. Maybe I shouldn't be so quick to judge. <laughs> uh, let's go compost. 65%. Seven people want to come in. We're at our max. But okay. We'll figure out a place for them. Housing shortage. Uh, no, tell me about it. I suppose what we could do is actually just start putting houses down on the outside anyway, and then just move them when we need to. And if they get ravaged, they get ravaged, you know? <laughs> that's, uh, that's their problem. There you go, there's two extra houses. That'll be plenty for you. I feel like we've slowed down the gold production. We made 100. Okay, I guess that's not too bad. They're all stalking the foundry. Like... Do you just walk out and manually pick up the gold? It looks like they do. This poor, no wonder his shoes are wrecked. Do we need even more of these? They're driving wagon, waiting for task. Anna Steele. <laughs> oh my God, nice name. Um, that's again from my Twitch streams. Anna Steele, that's a dude. That's awesome. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot about this. The fishery out here. Like the most fish in the world in that spot. What do you get? Fishing productivity 620%. But I guess it doesn't affect the fish count. It just affects how fast you get them. So I guess too much productivity means you're just going to drain it and empty it out anyway. Yeah, I don't know if the shoals of fish are moving or not, but I'm not seeing the... Uh, I think it's like 300% over here. Alright, good. Keep doing your thing. All right, how's that wall coming along? It's almost done. There's still like one little patch left untended to. Are they even using the wood from here? It's like they're not even using this wood. Don't know why. Uh, let's just continue it out this way then and say, yep, all the way to there, please. Cool, this road got paved nicely. We could pave this one too, 20 stone. Uh, I'd actually rather pave this one. Cool. I'm, man, the place is really coming along nicely. I'm so happy with it. It's such an idyllic settlement, I think. <laughs> I've never done so well in these types of games. Uh, yeah, and we've got like loads of good food variety. A lot of the houses have upgraded. 88% desirability, though. Some people still just don't have what they need, like glass or furniture. But that's why we're going to get that furniture building. So that'll be the last thing I do. That's a good way to cap it off. So let's get the furniture building, resources, furniture workshop... Toss it in sideways here. Boom. A heavy tool is required for it. Prioritize. Increase. How many people do we have not doing anything? 15 people building right now. 37 laborers. Good. All right, nice. There we go. So we'll just speed up. We'll let that building get done. And then hopefully they'll start making some furniture. We do have planks. We have the second sawmill up and running now. Full capacity. Uh, and yeah, maybe we'll start going for places around here with a bit more sustainable forestry that we don't have to go too far back in to deliver stuff because these ones are a bit far out if they're just going to be getting wood now. Obviously, we had them getting stone, which is the main reason for building them so far. And I don't mind them taking a while to do that. Uh, this flag can go back to the barracks as well. Is everyone okay? They didn't all just die or something. It looks like all everyone's got all everything they need. Hauberks, everything's perfect. Another thing I want to do then is, now that they all have that, we can upgrade and get ourselves... The upgraded armory and start making plate mail and get serious <laughs> so that'll be another big thing to do new villager born 340 out of 340 our extra little houses are down poor little shelters you haven't seen them in a long time they do look like homeless shelters now really villager attacked by predator oh no oh no she's not gonna make it who's this Harold, you're 52, man. Well, how old is she? She's 23. She's got her entire life ahead of her. Save her. Oh my god, save her. Oh. No! Ah, oh. He's not going to run away. You got to see it through, Harold. I don't care what happens. God damn. God damn. What can be done? Let's get Daisy. She's 46. Shelter stalking. 
Should have been out here patrolling. Tell her to go for it. See if she can handle it on her. If she can make it out there. Oh man. 23. And look at it, just eating the. Oh man, he's still alive. You can hear him coughing. Jeez. Oh, you can select the bodies and see who they are now? You weren't able to do that before. I can't do it with her. Oh shit! I didn't know there was more people out here. Ah, dealt with. Who did it? Irma. Marland. Son of Marland, who died of old age. And Olgrim. Damn. Oh well, can't be there all the time. You know, what am I supposed to do? Build watchtowers in every corner. I suppose you could relocate the hunter further out. And maybe they would kind of handle it, I suppose. Let's put them out somewhere here. That second part of the wall has gotten done much quicker, which is good to see. I'll just drive down here and then get the rest of it done. That'll be really for the next episode. So how's that furniture thing coming along? Is it done yet? Now we're still waiting on them to get rid of the obstructions. The trees. There we go. So 100 planks, 10 stone, and a heavy tool. I'll just keep time sped up. Try to get that building done. I want to see it in all its glory. How are we looking, by the way? So some of these houses need more desirability. That might be the focus of the next episode, bringing all these houses up to be large homes, giving them a bit more structure. They basically live in a swamp, so having more paving and ground, uh, kind of gardens and things around it might make it look a bit nicer. Maybe create a fence or something that leads to the swamp. And that way we gate it off just a little bit, kind of distinguish it from the rest of the town. Damn, the autumnal, le autumnal leaves look so good as well. How are we doing? Just a little bit of stone left to go. They should have it in no time. And how's the rest of our wall? So our wall is completely done on the north side with our lovely orchards either side of it as well on the outside. Then we have our industry up the north dealing with iron. And the east side is completely done as well, although we know that there's no tower cover here. So this could do with maybe moving just slightly forward and to the side or something. That would give us the coverage we really need, basically. Basically there future attacks. Those towers fire like crazy as well when uh, they're at the gates, so that's really good. People have been warning me though, they keep saying like, oh, siege equipment and stuff, they'll blow through those walls in seconds, so we'll see. One stone left, come on guys, let's get it. Build site stalking. Are you really the one that's doing it? it might be. It's gone so far off though. Food's been good as well, and this place is being... It's being de-weeded, so this can go. And then, I guess maybe flax. Impending blizzard. Uh-oh. That means they're not going to be working, which means they might not get that building built if they're going to go home. All right, the tower's, tower's being relocated. I wonder as well now, are people working a bit better, the fact that we have the temporary shelter here? So just get rid of... Oh my god. People in here are super... Uh, maybe not all of them. She just looks very old. <laughs> uh, transferring goods 59% of the time. Don't like to see that. Don't know what I can do about that. Hopefully a lot, at least less time getting your basic needs. Now that's just next door. There we go. We have the building. Boom. Alrighty. And there we go. Now we can make furniture. So it requires the heavy tool to be active. They produce furniture, 12 planks to make one. Wow, that is a lot actually. The wood industry is gonna need some rejuvenation. We have 800 logs apparently, I don't know where they all are, but there's lots of area out here right for the taking, so, and here. Now we can always build another tree nursery and stuff if we want to, so that's gonna have to be it for the end of this episode. Um, in the next one, just gonna be focusing on getting even more manor houses building up and uh, finishing off this expansion. And getting the last couple of buildings, which is going to be a gla um, the candle maker and making our own barrels because we currently just import them, as it were. All right, that's going to be it. The blizzard is hit. We'll see how it affects us in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support the channel directly, you can click the join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. You'll also get exclusive access to my Discord, where there's dedicated channels for each series I'm doing, and it's a great place just to meet others and make some friends.